Um, first off, the coolest thing that I've seen today is how well you guys follow directions. That was amazing. Watching you guys get nice and quiet when she asked. And following directions is such a huge and critical part of everything you're going to do. So hats off to you guys. Give yourselves. We're going to do something fun, okay? We do this in our basketball practices. We do it in our huddles. I need everyone's hands ready to clap. And on the count of three, we're going to clap three times. One, two, three. Awesome. Awesome. Right. We do that in basketball. I do that to help our guys calm down and get their attention. Uh, to make sure they're paying attention. And it's awesome seeing you guys follow directions so well. So I'm here uh, on a couple of different levels. Mentioned that I was, the, I still am, the boys basketball coach at Thurston High School, the defending state champions. I'm also an assistant coach on the football team. We also won a state championship this year. Uh, but it might interest some of you guys even more to know that I work at Dutch Bros Coffee. <laughs> All right, what's up? Hey, everybody likes Dutch Brothers. The, there's two things specifically that I want to talk to you guys about when it pertains to school, being a good student, being great at home, or anywhere else you are. And it's that you always have control over two things. And it doesn't matter what's going on around you. You can control two things. And these are two things that I talk about at Death Bros with all of the people that work with me. I talk to our basketball players about this all the time. You always have control over your attitude and your effort. So, when we talk about attitude and effort, Attitude carries over into anything you're doing. How good is your attitude? Do you believe you can do what you're doing? Are you willing to do what you're doing? Are you doing what you're asked? Right? Do you have a good attitude? Are you being a good classmate? Or a good teammate? And it's really important to have a really good attitude with everything you're doing because that's going to help you be successful anywhere you are, including right here in school. And then the second part we talk about is effort. How hard are you trying to do what you're doing? Are you doing it to the best of your ability? Right? Are you doing your homework to the best of your ability? Are you listening to the best of your ability? Are you cleaning your room to the best of your ability? All right? Those are two things we talk about all the time with our basketball guys. And that's part of how we became such a good team. Because all 12 guys that played with us had great attitudes. And they worked together really well as a team. And they worked really, really hard every single day, whether it was a practice or a game. And I believe that's why we ended up winning the state title is because we had amazing attitudes no matter what was going on. And we were the hardest working team. There's no question in my mind. Right? So always remember, I can control my attitude. I can control my effort. Okay? Something else that's very, very critical to your success as you go through school and then later on in life is something that's definitely in your control, and that's being on time, right? Being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. And we talk about this a lot at Dutch Bros, because this is the number one thing that we look for in our employees. Unfortunately, it's the number one thing that leads to some employees not being with us, because they have a hard time getting where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. So, if you're supposed to be in class, let's get to class. If you're supposed to be home, you're supposed to come in from outside because dinner's ready. Come inside, right? If you're supposed to do something at a certain time, do it at a certain time. Get where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there, right? Last year, we didn't have one kid late to practice all year long. We had a very punctual team. Right? And to me, that takes both attitude 
and effort. And then the last thing I want to leave you guys with is just being kind. Be kind to, to those around you. Last year's team will go down as one of my favorite teams because we had an incredibly kind, big hearted group of kids who loved to be around each other. And I'll tell this story for the rest of my life. We were not nervous at all for the state title, not one bit. It's because we loved each other and we treated each other really, really well. Our group loved each other so much that I asked them before the game, hey, are you guys going to ride the bus home or are you going to ride home to your parents? And they said, coach, it doesn't matter what happens. We're taking one more trip together. We're all riding the bus home together. And it's because they wanted to be together one last time as a team because that's how much they loved each other. That's how kind they were to one another how kind they were to everyone around them. And so I say that because kindness wins. Doing the right thing wins. All right? So when you are sitting next to someone, be kind. When you're in a group, be kind. Right? Be a great person because it wins. So just to summarize and recap, okay? You always control your attitude and your efforts. Be on time and be kind. And if you do those things, you're going to win at whatever you do. Speaking of winning, we have a game tonight at 545 at Thurston High School. And I hope I see some of you guys there because we need as many people there. We need as loud as we can possibly be as we try to get another win as we try to go get another one of these blue trophies. Right, so if anyone is available, to, what's that? You said go Colts, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So if anyone's available, you can if mom and dad, brothers and sisters, anybody can come. We would love to see you there. I appreciate you guys paying attention so very well. I would like to end with one more three clap. So can we all get our hands ready? Three more claps. On three, one, two, three. Awesome. Thank you guys.